Welcome back to another Champion Deep Dive, and today we're talking about Gore. He's got Regeneration, Shadow Magic Buffs, Bleed, Poison, and Shock, Degeneration, Fury, and a massive power gain burst to a devastating special three. Let's get into it. Gore enters the contest with immunity to heal block. If the willpower mastery is active, it's removed and each rank grants Gore an indefinite vicious buff, increasing the potency of damage over time effects by 25%. Also, after winning a fight against a god or elder, Gore gains one stack of heresy. Heresy persists between fights and maxes out at three. Now, Gore has three types of shadow magic buffs. In this example, Gore starts the fight with Viscera Magic active and inflicts a corresponding bleed debuff for 18 seconds when performing his second medium attack. Performing his fourth light attack grants him the next shadow magic buff in the sequence, Venom Magic. This buff inflicts poison, dealing direct damage and reducing regeneration on the opponent by 30%. And the last shadow magic buff in the sequence is Volt Magic, inflicting shock, dealing energy damage over 18 seconds. As a defender, Gore cycles through his shadow magic buffs every 10 seconds. Now, if any of these debuffs are prevented through immunity, Gore instead inflicts a degeneration debuff dealing direct damage over 18 seconds. This damage is increased by 500% against tech champions. Also, while shadow magic is active, striking block has a 4% chance per buff on gore to inflict its matching damaging debuff, except for degeneration. Now, when struck, gore gains a non-stacking regeneration buff, restoring 16% of missing health over 12 seconds. The amount healed is increased by 12.5% when fighting gods and elders, and for each stack of heresy. A stacking copy of this buff is triggered whenever Gore is inflicted by a power burn, or a damaging debuff that matches any active shadow magic buff. This also occurs when gaining a shadow magic buff after Gore is already affected by its matching damaging debuff. Now, once per fight, if the opponent is inflicted with at least 20 damaging debuffs, when Gore performs a heavy attack, he gains a power gain buff for 2 seconds, granting the difference in power between his current power and his max power. Now, let's check out his special attacks. For all special attacks, whether by Gore or the opponent, shadow magic buffs are paused for the duration of the attack. The Special One. After this attack, Shadow Magic buffs are paused for 6 seconds. As a defender, on activation, Gore activates all Shadow Magic buffs. With the special 2, on activation, Gore gains a Fury buff, increasing attack rating for 20 seconds. He'll also gain an additional Fury buff for each unique damaging debuff on the opponent. These Fury buffs are refreshed when Gore activates any special attack. The Special 3 Gore gains attack rating during this attack for each damaging debuff on the opponent. And this is increased by 100% per unique damaging debuff. And by an additional 100% when fighting gods and elders. As well as for each stack of heresy. Also, Gore activates all his shadow magic buffs and pauses all shadow magic buffs for 11 seconds. Now, let's check out his signature ability. When awakened, Gore gains God Hunter. This is an always active ability, where when Gore gains a shadow magic buff, he'll also gain an undermine buff, 
for up to 9.01 seconds, granting unblockable to any hit against auto blocks. Also, personal damaging debuff duration is increased by up to 4.01 seconds flat. This is further increased by 0.5 seconds flat when fighting gods, elders, and for each stack of heresy. Now, when entering a fight on the final node in a quest, Gore gains one stack of heresy, and the max heresy is increased to four. Now, let's take him out for a spin in the champion rotation. To begin, build up six shadow magic buffs by cycling through them using light attack ending combos. From there, use medium attack ending combos to place the corresponding debuffs from your shadow magic buffs while building up to your special two. Launching the special two will grant four fury buffs, one from the attack and three from each unique damaging debuff. Now, from here, continue building up debuffs on the opponent with medium ending combos and launch the special one in order to refresh your fury stack. When reaching 20 or more debuffs on the opponent, perform a heavy attack to gain a burst of power to fuel you to your special three. With all those damaging debuffs and bonus for unique damaging debuffs as well, Gore will lay down some devastating damage on his opponent. Now, let's check out some best uses. With heal block immunity, taking on heal block nodes and champs will see Gore still able to heal while taking advantage of converting willpower to vicious buffs. With easy access to shock debuffs, Gore opens the door to damage on Thunderstruck. Gore's ability to inflict poison debuffs on the opponent allow him to inflict full damage on Acid Wash nodes. Inflicting multiple debuffs on the opponent meet the requirements on Diss Track nodes. Similarly, Gore's ability to gain multiple buffs meets the requirement for buffed up nodes. Now of course, these aren't the only uses for Gore. Where would you use him in the contest? Sound off below and let's discuss. Now, let's check out some notable synergies. Deicide. With Thor, Thor Ragnarok, or Thor Jane Foster on the team, Gore gains a solo synergy where his shadow magic buff duration is increased by two seconds. Blood and Gore. With Hercules, Cersei, or Icarus on the team, Gore gains a solo synergy in where the recovery reduction from poison effects on Gore is 50% less effective. Death to Valhalla. With Mangog on the team, Gore gains an indefinite true damage buff, while the opponent is inflicted with at least 15 damaging debuffs. With Mangog, while Enrage is active, the burst of energy damage from his heavy attack charges twice as fast. Consuming Darkness. With Null on the team, Gore, when performing a heavy attack, grants a non-stacking vicious buff for 10 seconds, increasing the potency of damage over time effects by 20%. With Null, while the opponent is corrupted, Necrosword attacks inflict an additional instant bleed, dealing 30% of attack rating in damage. Now, did you see a synergy that caught your attention? Thinking of a new synergy team? Let us know your thoughts below and let's discuss. Thank you for watching this champion deep dive for Gore. Are you ready? Let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. And if you like the video and want to see more, click subscribe, like, comment, and share. And remember, we'll see you in the battle room.